navigating in object mode. Object mode is the ability to latch on to an object. An object is made of certain geometry, but it's an object, it's a thing. So uh, a car is a thing and it's made of nuts and bolts and everything else. So an object is object mode, it's the whole totality of things. So right now I have this box and um, if you go down here, you can click on this box button right here and you'll get move, rotate, and scale. You can also hit W, E, and R on the keyboard. Again, I'm using the keyboard shortcuts that I provide. Make sure that you're using the same ones. They are located on the first video. So, W, E, R. Now, another thing, let's go to W. You can see these arrows. If you were to grab the arrow, it would only move it, in this case, in Y. Okay. In Blender, Y is like um, forward, backwards, like front. If I threw a ball at somebody, it would be in Y. <laughs> there we go. Uh, if I was in X, X is right and left, Y is forward, backward, and then Z is up and down. In some other applications, you'll see that this is not the case, but uh, in Blender, it's true that way. We also call this Z up position. Now, also, if you click on the object, we have this little white circle. This white circle allows you to ro move it in any location, so it feels like I can freely move it around this viewport. Okay, this is the viewport. Uh, this is the grid inside the viewport. So when I say move it within the viewport, anywhere, this is what I mean. You'll grab the white air, white circle and move it anywhere within the viewport. Okay, so let's play around here for a second. Let's go to Crate and let's go to UV Sphere. You'll notice that it starts out in the very center of the grid and then I can grab the white circle and move this over here maybe. Now what I want you to do is try to get the ball on top of the box. Okay, So it would stand to reason that all I do is have to click on the ball and then move it over here and try to get it onto the box. And you'll find out that it's not going to line up quite well. You have to kind of move it around in X and Y to get it on top of the box. And if you want to move it in Z you can and that's rather difficult, especially for a new student. Let's move it over here, move it over here, kind of mess it up a little bit and try again. Okay, this time, try to get it over there. When you messed it up a little bit, it's a little harder now. Also, you'll notice that I'm in perspective mode, which I told you not to be in. So if you hit 5 on the number pad, you can then like this and move it around a little bit. You'll see that it's a little easier because you're not looking through the camera lens. You're looking through the orthographic view. But here's a better way to actually line them up. There's one, three, and seven on the number pad. One is the front, three is right, seven is top. So start out in the top view and put the ball on top of the box. Then switch it over to either 1 or 3, and then you'll find that if you just move it up and then hold Alt and left mouse button, you'll find that it's perfectly on top of the box. Okay, practice this with many of the shapes. In other words, maybe throw a torus out there. Try to put the torus on top of the cylinder or sphere or whatever that you throw out there build something for a second just out of basic primitives have fun and then go on to the next video